Good morning. I had great plans to um, get up this morning early, which I did not do, and regale you with the completion of the t-shirt, which I did not do. And instead, I laid in and wasted time watching YouTube videos. I've had a shower, have washed my hair, have gathered up the laundry because I get to do I get to do laundry today, and made a new style cup of coffee. I used to put. Um, well, I've given you the recipe before. I'll give you the new recipe in the um, description below. But um, I've got a new additive in my morning coffee. Um, the doctor we visit down here suggested that I get isopure protein. N not a sponsor. But um, he likes it better than the, the, um, the um, I'm trying to think, collagen protein powder that I was drinking. Now, to be fair, he's like, oh, it's got 25 carb or grams of protein in it. It's great for you. Well, you have to use two scoops, which is a crap ton of powder. And if I did two scoops of the collagen powder, I'd be getting just as much. So, uh, meh. but it, boy, does it make a froth. I have a major froth in my coffee today. Oh, and this is my green Oregon cup. I was looking at that going, wait, I don't recognize that. Um, so instead of my collagen powder, I just have coffee, cream, water, and then this isopure, a scoop of this isopure. And I had to like sip the top off and refill twice in order to get down past the froth. Tastes good, and I don't have to add any more sweetener because this is like vanilla flavored protein powder. So it's like all in one, just my little three ingredients and I'm good to go. Yeah, um, so no knitting news here, no crochet news here. Um, today I get to spend a lot of time on the computer because I'm headed out tomorrow to start driving back with Tony. We'll do some on the road stuff and I will try and get over there and record a spinning video today for you to see tomorrow. So the heat's off me on the road tomorrow or I can interleave it in and take one day off. Um, all that I've got to show you knitting wise is I'm about, I had to switch hands. That's the joggle for you. Oh, it's open. Is to discuss my next, the next mindless knitting project is the knit, knit seven stockinette, reverse stockinette, seven cowl. And it's the last, last cowl. You know, I've been beleaguering this a long time. I've said for a long time, oh, I'm done. I'm almost done. I'm going to finish this. I'm so happy to have this done. Yeah, well, no. And they've sucked me in. Because I, uh, now, I, when I went to Port Townsend, the gal at the shop there, um, Carrie, said, you know, it's too bad you don't have those three skeins and do some sort of a shawl would be pretty. And so all I can think about now is fairy wings instead of fairy rings and make the kit have two patterns in it, like same number of yarn. And use the same stitches, I think, too. But I have to figure out how to make it into fairy rings. Or wings instead of rings. So I have been racking my brain. And if any of you guys have any ideas, let me know. Some sort of a shawl. I kind of either in the shawl, the lace pattern will form a pair of wings. Or I don't know if I should try to divide it and make it wing-like. And I have seen some examples out there. But this is at a mohair lace weight and it will be different. Because I want the stick stitches to really be the main wing structure, but I haven't worked it out yet. So I keep, that's, that's percolating in the back of my mind. That will be the next pattern I come up with probably. I need to sit down and have a powwow with, um, Laura and see what she thinks too, because we both did the last set. So maybe the two of us together could come up with something creative. And I'd also planned on having this little chat outside. Um, this week has been in the, it hit a hundred every day that we've been down here. I'm okay with that. I don't, I don't mind it at all. I just didn't get outside because then I got up, I showered, I was going to start doing this video and then Grayson called me because they're in the sewing room and wanted to chat at my house, my other house up in Oregon, my other place. And, um, so now here we are and I am just getting to this. I have had my coffee the whole time. I did go shopping yesterday after we had our doctor's appointments that took forever and I got a swimming suit that seems very, yeah, let's talk swimsuits. What do you guys think of swimsuits? I have never been a big fan of the swimsuit because there's always too many body parts that I feel uncomfortable about. 
But this swimsuit shop had a like a 1940s style um, sheath. So it's it's got good bust support. It's um, empire waist. It's got like a skirt on it that covers most of my uncomfortable parts of my thighs. And then it has like a v-neck with a cowl, like little piece of fabric cowl thing. Super cute and super I feel slimming when, you know, you worry about the swimsuit thing. So I got that. It's, I would have to show it to you on and oh, I'll work on it, okay? I'll work on being brave enough. Maybe I'll take, I'll have Tony take a picture of me because we're planning on swimming on our trip back home or hot tubbing or something. And so I'll have Tony take as pleasing of a picture as we can manage of me in a swimsuit. We had a whole chat about how we need to not worry about our bodies in swimsuits because we're old and we live in a over 55 community. And goodness sakes alive, we all look not great. And so let's not worry about it. But you know, you just letting those feelings that you've had your whole life go. I was the fat girl. I always had a homemade swimsuit out of gingham because my body was always chubby and I felt fat and uh, it's horrible. It's horrible to let go of those insecurities. But swimsuit is the last stand, isn't it? Do you guys all feel like swimsuits are the last stand? That and tank tops. I don't I don't very often wear tank tops or sleeveless things without a cardigan over the top covering my arms. And I always have like the longer of the women's sleeves, not the shorter of the women's sleeves. Uh so uh yeah, that's where I am on the body positivity realm. Not quite there yet. Hopefully someday. But then, you know, you just don't want to look bad either. And you don't want to look, I don't know. I'm working on it. I also found a cute dress that's very Japanese smocky. I'm kind of into a smock thing lately. Probably because I feel, probably because I feel fat too, right? Right? Don't we all have that problem? Do you guys? Time to comment now. I bet this is a topic we can all talk about in the discussion. How do you, how is your body? So here's the questions. How are, what are, what do you worry about the most when you wear clothing? Have you gotten over it? How have you gotten over it? Um, did anybody give you any sage advice to help? And, um, if age is an issue, was there an age when you finally felt like, screw it, I don't care, I'm going to wear purple. You know what I mean? Now I have done that. I used to never, ever, ever wear yellows and oranges and greens ever because I felt like it made my skin look sallow. Well, you know what? I turned 45 and I'm like, screw it. If I want to wear orange, I'm wearing orange. If I want to wear yellow, I'm wearing yellow. And you know what the crazy thing is? I get compliments on it. Now, is it because they're like, oh, look at that old scary lady wearing those colors? Or do they genuinely think I look good? And they seem to be real compliments. So perhaps I was so caught up in feeling uncomfortable that I should have been wearing them all along. Right? Woulda, coulda, shoulda woulda coulda woulda shoulda yeah anyway today's topic brought to you by body positivity help you help feel more positive about yourself as i work on the yet unfinished perfect t-shirt so yeah i'm gonna try and get to that this afternoon but i have to do laundry i have to clean up the park model a bit because i know david won't do it and he leaves day after tomorrow um and there are some things that have been bugging me like the track in the shower and where we take our shoes off when we come in the house and we kick them off right by the front door and there's black scuff marks where the shoes hit the side of the cabinet. So I need to take a magic eraser to that and like just goobers on the door frame and stuff that David will never in a million years see. So I'm going to try and clean that up because we are not likely to be back here until October probably. So we won't be back till October after this and therefore we need to batten down the place more on a more long-term basis turn off the water i think we can leave the hot water tank on because we've now got a oh no it hasn't been changed damn sorry i just cussed on the youtubes i'm not a kid's programming so i'm okay this tastes a bit fake sweetie i'm the jury's out on this i'll get back to you when i'm done whether i like this or not that and then um Oh, and I did get a new blender because my blender broke down here. And I might be taking it home with me. It's it's a ninja one that comes with... It's like, I think it's like a ninja smoothie one. And it comes with two cups. And for me to make a smoothie with ice the way I like it, yeah, I have to drink two cups. 
So I make my smoothies with two cups, both cups in the Ninja. I pour half, one scoop into one cup, another scoop into another cup, and then I mix in blueberries is the best one. Blueberries, a scoop in one cup, a scoop in another cup. Like a, like a little handful. And then um, um, ice, a little bit of cream, mostly like a cup of water in there-ish, and then a, just a little splash of cream to give it some creaminess. And then I blitz it. Oh, and did I say ice? And then as much ice as that will fill it up to the full mark. And then I blitz it, and it freezes a little bit, the first one. But then the second one, I throw in the freezer for about an hour. And then I have a second glass later, and I kind of mix it up with a spoon because it separates a little bit, and you get a real nice slushy one. It says my keto life. I don't, I'm not supposed to have carbs, so I um, just get, like, blueberries or heaven because it's the teeny bit of carbs I get every day. Or cheat, <laughs> which sometimes happens too. I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to keep that to a minimum. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm at 11 minutes. How's that for pretty good? And, um, yeah, I'm at 11 minutes. Um, I hope you have a great day today. I hope I get to some creativity. Let's fingers crossed that I get a chance because it looks like I'm sort of running around getting stuff done and not having fun for another day. Well, I did this morning. It's my own fault. If I'd gotten up and gotten to work this morning, I'd be sitting here right now starting to do that t-shirt. But I chose to be lazy this morning. All right. Happy. Have a good day. Bye.